right now. Yes. Hello, Dan. How are you? Hello. Start from the very beginning. Where were you born? Where are you from? What's your story? Well, I was born in Ashland, Ohio. Um, That's a real place, uh, right? You're not making that up. That's a real place, yes. I've been a musician since I was five years old. I remember standing on a milk crate at the church pulpit next to my father, who was a reverend and church pastor, and my mother was at the piano. Uh, We were a trio, and I sang the soprano part. Uh, At that time, the Blackwood Brothers Gospel Quartet sang at the church, and the music made a huge impression on me. I found out later that they were Elvis Presley's favorite group. I began playing the piano at age 10 years old and probably performed at least a thousand times as a soloist, member of uh, various choirs and other ensembles. There were one-man shows and I played in rock bands. I began writing music professionally at the age of 19. There's another poor man who lives down the street who doesn't have the money for new shoes on his feet. He works hard each day to earn his wage. It seems that life is talking to Dan Nauman Nicewander. Uh, but it's it nice wonder. Ni- just think nice and wander. It's, nice it, wander. My Swiss grandfather, Did I say didn't nice speak wander? English. I think I said it's nice Something wander. like that. It's very okay. easy to mispronounce. I just said okay. it in the moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You were being okay. spontaneous. Um, I worked as a background actor in Hollywood TV shows and films and worked on various film projects and uh, taught English in Japan while in California in my 20s. Um, when I was back east in Indianapolis, Indiana and in the Midwest, I recorded two professional albums. I've always been in a music family. Mm-hmm. I mean, music's been the thing I've done longer than anything else in my life. Revolution of the Heart was released in 1999, and it features songs such as Compassion. All right, put your hands together for Now Man. I'm a peace activist, and I think automatically when you promote peace, you are anti-war. and. Uh, For me, this is the core of what it all means. Compassion is the name of the song. that we give is what we receive it's really all the same may give it a different name I'll call it love do we understand compassion 
Can you see the tear in the eye of someone who knows the meaning of compassion? Everyone can seem to be in need one way or another. Can you see the tear of joy in the eye of someone Oh, who knows the meaning of compassion Everyone can seem to be in need One way or another One way or another Everyone is our sister and brother one way or another Thank you. Chameleon, that featured Dane Clark, the drummer from the John Miller Camp Band. The quirky, funky space. scheduled program and also surfing with Jesus with co-producers twin brothers Eric Klee and Mark Johnson and that was definitely a crowd favorite I performed and produced dozens of live shows as a one-man act and then the nice wander band including a monthly variety show at Birdie's live nightclub for three years I was used to producing um, live shows mm -hmm. and even had a variety show at a nightclub for four years mm. that and I could bring in characters, which you know now man was one of my characters right. technically. And I, I uh, one night actually, I had to stop the show and let Prince and New Power Generation play. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess that's if you got to let somebody play. <laughs> yeah, right. Might as well be Prince and the New Power Generation. But I was also one of those kinds of people that just like you know not just music. You know, mm -hmm. people like David Bowie inspired me that to do anything I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And the Nice Winter Band played at a huge. Uh, Clear Channel Music Festival that featured several stages and acts as diverse as Blondie, Los Lobos, The Roots, George Thorogood and, and the Destroyers, and Sugar Ray. Um, the band performed live on the local Fox Morning News show twice, and my music was played on commercial radio stations in Indianapolis. I performed about a dozen characters in my live shows and videos uh, that I called Nice Wonder, Rock, Theater. The characters included now man, the superhero of the present moment. 
avant-garde artist Chip Jingleheimer, stand-up comedian Buddy Shine, Dan Westwood, who was a British undercover secret agent, Luke Warm, a storyteller, rock and roller Mellow Man, punk rocker Glam, Sam, Mojo Workman, Dr. Hans Newtcase, time traveler. I had a lot of fun with it. Mixed it up with rock and roll. Uh, there were songs on the album 2003 release, Adventures in Wonderland. It includes the melodic punk rock song, Read a Book. How's everybody doing? Thank you very much, uh, Kulax. This is great. I've been here before. I used to live down the street, actually. But that's not all Something to simulate my brain Doesn't have to be that deep Something to take with me in a plane I'd like to read a book But it's a song that has a hook Travel to exotic places I want to read a book there's always a story to find Something better of any kind Not just look at the pictures I want to read a book Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Also, everyone... Like beauty is more than skin deep It isn't just physical We have a special bond It doesn't matter what you call it So simple yet complex Like a puzzle every piece has a feeling that I said everyone in this place Makes the world go round Mojo, I've Got to Love You This Way, and Fun to the Nth Degree, which is the theme song of Now Man, the superhero of the present moment, and later my television show, The Now Man Show. I also co-produced my first short film with Matt Summers that was a 20-minute promotional film called Chameleon included on this album and it was screened at the Alternative Film Festival in Indianapolis in 2004. During that time I was president and co-founder of a nonprofit called the Olive Branch Society and was a media ambassador for the UN program Adopt a Minefield which included uh, working as an internet reporter in a Hollywood press corps, uh, lots of interviews, um, including Jay Leno and Mickey Rooney, producing and hosting benefit concerts and uh, being a featured contributor to their fall 2004 newsletter, The Deminer. 
Uh, during this time, I was also published in the Nouveau News Weekly newspaper and played the part of Taylor Garrison in the London Sci-Fi Film Festival award-winning fan film, Saving Star Wars, that starred the original Darth Vader, David Prowse. And after finishing a bachelor's degree in marketing, I returned to Southern California in 2007 and was a primary organizer for Occupy the Rose Parade and appeared as Now Man with actor Jason Alexander of Seinfeld uh, in one of his videos on funnyordie.com in 2012. I can yell out now, I'll yell out the rest and watch what happens. Okay. <laughs> now, meet, discuss, create something, implement. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. We've changed hearts and minds. That's right. Already. That's right. Good job. Yes, we're going to do it. <laughs> and when are we going to do it? Right now. Exactly. Because all that exists is right now. And a moment. <laughs> Let's so, talk about yeah, now, man, because uh, you, you've brought up characters before. What's the, <laughs> what's the now man? The now man is the superhero of the present moment. Okay. So I've been working on it for a while. Like, for instance, the now man's on the cover of this album here. Uh -huh. uh, and, um, but I also did, like, experimented when YouTube came along. I thought, well, what, I could do something with this character, you know, and just mm -hmm. very basic stuff. And then I wrote this book because I wanted to develop the character more and mm -hmm. uh, uh, what goes on in the mind of a superhero, hmm. right? Okay. And um, the so I just kind of according to now, man. Yeah, and that by just, now, man. <laughs> I just wrote it, you know, real spontaneous, uh -huh. like I went day by day, like a journal, right? Uh -huh. And just like, what am I feeling today? And so there's a lot of you know, interesting little antidotes and things, you know, spontaneous moments right. that happen just like when you write music. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that transition from your wanderings around the world to landing here? I'd been, like I say, I was back east mm -hmm. when I was doing a lot of the professional music stuff, and I just wanted, I was ready to come back to California. I'd lived here before, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in my 20s. You know, I worked mm -hmm. on film and stuff like that for a while, and, you know, uh, and I wanted to find a way to motivate myself mm -hmm. to get and back into the creative process again, you know, because uh, there was an economic downturn, and I thought, well, maybe music's not the way to go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, enter now, man. Enter now, man. I said, now, man, that's perfect. Mm. I created and DJed the internet radio show, The Now Man Show, Deep Cuts and More on Kill Radio from 2014 to 2016. And while that was going on, someone suggested to me, actually a former co producer, mm -hmm. why don't you try cable access television? Uh -huh. And I thought, what a great idea. Now man on television mm -hmm. in a bigger way. Okay. So that's when I started developing the idea. And even with all the work that I'd already done, it still took a year right. before I really had what I wanted. Well, let's take a look at the clip. Then I want to come back and talk to you a little bit more about some of yeah. that. We have a, a clip of the Now Man show with Dan Now Man Nicewinder. Let's take a look. I like to watch the Now Man show because it is better than the best show on all of TV. And that's what we've been suffering from, pretended patriotism. They use patriotism to lie us into a war in Iraq. They use patriotism to do drone attacks on children. They use patriotism to demonize uh, Putin or anybody in the country who won't go snap to, to our fingers, you know. Uh, they, 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 uh, they, they have used the war on terror to gain a degree of power and observation over the American people that no dictator ever had. Unconditional guaranteed income for everyone. Oh, not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. I, I'm all for that. That's not, I've heard people talk about that, like the philosophers like Alan Watts. Yeah. He said something interesting. He said, you know, money isn't wealth. It just measures wealth, right? right. So when the stock market crashes, we're st we still have the same wealth in America. There's just an accounting problem. He said, that's like showing, you know, if you show up at the bank and they go, we're out of money, we'll print more. He goes, it's just like showing up at a construction site and saying, hey, we were out of inches. What? Go get, <laughs> what do you mean you're out of, they just measure what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. They're not what you're doing. <laughs>
wind will change, the water main will break, risks happen, and so you gotta kinda always be trying to get more surplus, more profits, because the more you have, the safer you are to face any eventuality. It's built into the system that the capitalist's anxiety about keeping his or her hands on that surplus means you gotta use the surplus to build your company to get more surplus and therefore become safer. And so the system has built into it not just the need to get as much surplus as possible, but to grow the enterprise, to build it out. Because if you don't, you risk collapse, disaster. <laughs> This is Nice Wander, and you're watching The Now Man Show. And today I'm here with David Bowie's piano man, Mike Garson. Hello, it's great to see you again. Likewise. Ah, this is fantastic. So a lot has happened, actually, since we were last in this room together. The, the David Bowie Celebration concert I attended uh, at the Wiltern. Sting was kind of a wild highlight both nights. He was supposed to come just one night. He liked yeah. it so much he came back, and wow. he sang uh, I think Lazarus, right? And he did Black Star. And anyone who has the real jazz sensibility mm -hmm. tends to like to create in the moment. And you are obviously a medical doctor. What is the best way going forward to get a single payer in this country? Most countries have that, and we need it too. Exactly. We need it, and we can afford it, in fact, because it doesn't cost any more than what we are paying right now. It simply ensures that our health care dollars are paying for health care, not for health profiteering. We need a health care system that is, uh, that is uh, established for people, not for making profit. So again, this is all a matter of achieving critical mass. We need to come together as the many movements we are for health justice, for climate justice, for racial and economic and LGBT justice yes, yes. and women's justice. When we get together with the courage of our convictions, we're unstoppable. That's a pretty eclectic blend of, yeah. of content that you have right there. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, yeah, just that it's quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> the, t tell me how you... So you, you got to L.A., you, you're, you're, you've transitioned your character into the show, and you say now, man, it's a superhero, but the content you're doing, this is not like typical superhero-y type stuff. You're dealing right. with some pretty heavy content. you got some pretty heavy hitters as far as guests are concerned. Or yeah. How does all of that work? Well, it's like, it, again, it's a work in progress. Like, it's, you know, part of living in the moment, I mean, to be honest, it's a way of life for me. Mm -hmm. uh, by ex I discovered that kind of, by accident, you know, it's like, I, and the more I live in the moment, the the freer I feel to just be spontaneous, right? Like I'm right now, you know, and it's, that's where the yeah, show- Yeah, it's pretty spontaneous. Yeah. I'm feeling this. I yeah. mean, I, it's like songwriting, you know, I've, my experience with songwriting is just a very spontaneous thing, you know, and, and same thing with Now Man, which by the way, that theme song, Fun to the Nth Degree, mm -hmm. is basically Now Man's with the, with theme the person song. random screaming. <laughs> what, what is it, is he saying now? What is he saying right there? Well, he says, fun. Uh huh. Love and living. Okay. okay. So the chorus is you know, fun to the nth degree, love to the nth degree, living to the nth degree. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. And um, so that's the theme song of Now Man. And I said, why not use it as the theme song of a, of the of a TV show too? So. And you you put together a pretty good team of people, not only outside of here, but here at Pasadena right. Media. You have a pretty strong core of people that you've come together with, and yes. you guys all work on each other's shows. Basically, you know, even with the worker cooperative group that I work with outside of here. Mm -hmm. The mindset is cooperation and relationship based. Mm -hmm. And that's always been really, really important to me. Even when I played in bands, mm -hmm. you know, did any kind of production in the studio, recording music, it's always been about relationships right. and, and been cooperating. So it's like if somebody, in this case here at Pasadena Media, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to use this wonderful studio and this equipment and learn a lot, but also develop relationships even with you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Which is actually really special to me. Well, I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, the Now Man Show is a cultural magazine variety show focusing on arts, entertainment, education, news, and also politics in the 21st century. As a variety show, it features interviews with household names in the music, film, and television industries, including Academy, Emmy, Grammy, and other award-winning artists, directors, and producers, such as actors Ed Asner, 
uh, Mary Tyler Moore Show, uh, Mike Farrell uh, from MASH, DJ and musician Moby, David Bowie's Piano Man, uh, Mike Garson, producer Robert Margoloff, produced Stevie Wonder and Devo, director Morgan Neville, who won the Academy Award for 20 Feet from Stardom, and so much more. There are live performances from artists such as singer-songwriters uh, Christian Nesmith and Cersei Link, psychedelic cumbia punk band The Commons, and jazz band TLQ featuring Trevor Lawrence and pop star Masumi, as well as interviews with comedians Anthony Atamuk, uh, who is Donald Trump of The President's Show on Comedy Central, John Fuglesang, Hal Sparks, uh, and Jimmy Dore. In addition to interviews, there are also conversations and panel discussions with scientists, university educators, award-winning authors, podcasters, radio show hosts, entrepreneurs, uh, other filmmakers, leaders in politics and activism, such as presidential candidates, Dennis Kucinich and Jill Stein, journalists Robert Shear of Truth Dig and Jink Uger of The Young Turks, economist and professor Richard Wolff and conservative political analyst Ann Coulter. The show also features coverage of events with a broad range of topics from political conventions to environmental expos, film festivals, and other community events. There are specials outside of the regular format that focus on specific su subject matter such as sustainability and the environment, worker cooperatives, economics, history, and politics. As of 2018, over 80 episodes have been produced. In 2018, I began the podcast about environmental topics, and there's always more. I always love the live experience and all kinds, and the plan to return to more live music shows as well. So for more information, uh, check out my music and bio on cdbaby.com forward slash nicewander1 and nicewander2. This is Dan Nicewander, I always say, be present always. And stay tuned. We're getting ready to change the world, so uh, stay tuned.